Hi friends, I'm Wani and welcome to Wani's house. In today's video, we are actually decorating a space in my home that I've never decorated before and I'm so excited. But first, the one thing I need to do is I'm going to make over this beautiful wooden table that I received from my mom. So I was looking for a table because I wanted to um, spruce up the foyer and I just did not want it just to house the um, the clock that you see here so I got this table and I'm gonna paint it this is the ovations paint from Sherwin Williams and the name of the color that I'm gonna paint the table is called black magic and so I knew I wanted to use black and I had some other ideas but I first had to execute the look of the table so I picked up some other materials from um, Lowe's. I got the the small paint brush, the rolling brush, as well as an angular brush. And so I have this mean green degreaser and cleaner, and I'm cleaning off the table um, very well, getting off any dust or anything that may have been on the table. And so it wasn't very dusty. And so, but well, now that it is prepped for us to begin our next step that's what we're gonna do I'm using this sanding block to go along the edges of the table as well as in the middle of the table where there may have been some scratches or some um, dents in the table so I want to smooth all of that out and this is this will also help us um, adhere the paint better so I'm gonna just um, wipe off all of the sand and everything that we have scratched up let it dry for about 10 minutes and then we're going to go ahead and begin applying our first coat of paint now with the first couple of rows of paints i'm like oh maybe i should have gotten something darker but um because it was looking kind of grayish but of course, you know how paint is. You have to let it dry, and then you will begin to see the, um, the true colors. So with this paint, I actually did um, two and a half, three coats of the paint, and in, and I let it dry um, for 30 minutes in between the first two coats, and then the second, the last coat I put on the following day. Now while the top of the table is dry, I'm going to go ahead and begin applying the paint on the spindles, um, the legs of this um, table. Now I must say that the spirals in this table did really make it a little bit difficult to paint the legs, but that is one of the most beautiful accents of this table, and so which is what attracted me to the table because I initially thought that this table only had one base but I do love um, the three legs I love the height of the table and I believe that it's going to be perfect for what we want to do so here's a close-up picture you see uh, now I have begun to use the paintbrush so that I can get an even coat of the paint throughout the spirals now this it took me about three and a half coats to go along this and I let it dry um, throughout each coat, maybe about um, 30, 45 minutes. Now this is the final coat of the paint that I'm applying.
All right, guys. So this is what the table looks like, and it turned out really nice. Um, I originally was going to put some polyurethane on here, but I decided that I like it just like this. So that we're going to let this dry. All right, so here is the table. I've actually gone over it um, about two and a half times. I went over the legs part three times to make sure that it's fully covered. And I actually have a polyurethane and um, I bought that and that'll give it a gloss, but I think I like it like this. And um, I love this. I think I did a very nice job on the paint. Love the black. Yeah, I can't wait to show you guys what I plan to do in this area. So, once again, this is the area, like it's like my foyer when you come into my home. Okay. And so, I had a picture here. I'm going to. I've taken that down and then we have this right here and then you come around here and of course you see like my dining room so all this is going to be we're gonna do this area and like I said this is the area that I have not shared with you guys usually you would see that clock and I have that clock here and we're gonna move that out and um yeah I, it's gonna be very cute very cute so for now that we're closing the time we're gonna go ahead and get into the decorating portion you are not going to want to miss the transformation of my foyer So I'm going to begin um, cleaning up this area a little bit. I'm going to sweep the um, foyer area. Then we're going to go ahead and use my favorite um, polisher. And it's the orange oil. We're going to polish this area of the floor. And we're going to start putting our items into their proper place. Okay, so right here is where I want to put um, one of my tall sconces from Z Gallery. I picked it up, I bought it um, early last year and I love these sconces um, from the first time I saw them I actually was able to get them on sale. And so I think these are the Asper um, sconces and they are very heavy. I was not sure where I wanted to use these, but I did know that I did not want to miss another sale. So I know you guys have seen these all throughout these YouTube streets, but I thought this is my opportunity to use these sconces in this area on this particular wall because this is the wall opposite um, my dining room. And if you know my dining room is 
inside like um, an arch, it's arched. And so when you come in and you see this area, you will definitely be greeted and it is gonna be very grand, very bold and very beautiful. And I thought these two sconces definitely say grand, bold and beautiful. They are absolutely gorgeous and in my signature color of gold, it is really going to elevate um, this foyer area. So on this wall, I knew that I wanted to use some abstract art. And so I had been searching for art for the past couple of weeks. And then I realized I have the art already in my arsenal. So this was an art piece that I was actually using in my um, powder room. And I just transferred it over here. And I thought it was perfect. Love the colors because it's definitely have all the colors that I use in my homes, the blacks, the golds, the whites, the creams, love this and I thought it was perfect for this wall and it fits it absolutely perfectly. It is not too small, it is not too wide and so um, I do have a couple of other things that I want to put over in this area and in the upcoming week you will see how we update this space. Okay, so now I'm spraying my orange all oil and I'm using my dust mop. The dust mop head is from Amazon and um, I think it is universal. The mop, the broom, the mop pole or the handle was one that I already had. And so um, finally I was able to find an actual mop head that was able to fit um, the existing um, pole that I had. So I'm just going to shine up my floors. Now make sure when you do this once again that you don't over spray because it's very slippery and I usually like my floors to cure 24 hours so that the, the, the beautiful shine will set in. So I'm placing our table here in the middle of the foyer. So I'm, oh, I want to see, make sure I have enough clearance to walk around when I open the um, closet door, when I need to get in there, when I come through the front door, it, it doesn't impede that. When you want to go into the dining room, you do have enough space to go into there. So, loving this. Perfect. And um, now we can begin to build on the other elements of how we're going to decorate this table. Now, this is a gold base that I already had on hand. And so I'm using that, and I'm just going to make a really beautiful centerpiece. You know, a lot of times when you come into house homes that are very grand, and they have a round table in the middle, they usually have such a, a big grand centerpiece. And so I am using these pussy willows here, and these some that I had in my stash. And I think these are perfect for this time of year because now that the trees are beginning to bloom, you're beginning to see little buds on the tree branches as well as bloom beginning to form and so I also um, shared with you in a haul these beautiful long stem dogwood branches these were purchased from Ross there's three in the bundle they were $11.99 and I thought these looked great with the blooms of the buds of the pussy willows because when the dogwoods began to um bloom their little buds like that and then they grow out and they blossom over absolutely gorgeous this is such a beautiful um display here it is very grand it is beautiful the white popping off of the background and i just want to manipulate some of the leaves a little bit all right and so now i'm going to add another gold piece this is a piece that i was able to find from Home Goods on Clarence. Definitely a wanted buy. I love the gold bottom. I love the beautiful amber glass in there. And I'm going to use this Bethlehem Lights Touched candle. This is one of my favorite candles. And um, it, it, it looks perfect up against this tall gold vase. And then last, I'm going to bring in a little bit of a natural element 
with this bowl here. It is like um, a concrete type bowl. That's what it sort of feels like. It's slightly heavy. You can put um, balls in there, your decorative decorations in there, um, whatever you want to do. But I just thought that it was it was great because now not only are we grouping in a group of threes, but we're going from lower to high. So here is the reveal. Welcome to my newly styled foyer, guys. And I am very, very happy with this. I, I love the entrance when you first come into the home. This is what you see. This beautiful bouquet of um, greenery and florals. And on top of this amazingly beautiful redesigned um, black table. I love it. It's very modern. It is very beautiful and but it's also very simplistic i don't have a lot going on i love the sconces in the background and i love how all of the colors the greens the creams the um the golds are all blending in so perfectly in this area i also love the gold picture everything about this space says welcome I have some other updates that I'll be sharing with you in the upcoming weeks, and you are not going to want to miss it. Like I said, it's a space in my home that I never shared. I'm decorated. It was fairly simple. It's time to change things up, and I'm so happy that I did. So, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end today's video. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Wani, and welcome to Wani's house. If you like what you can see, go ahead and get that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my upcoming uploads. You can also check me out on my Instagram, my TikTok, as well as over on my Facebook on all three platforms. You can find me at Wani's house. Hit the follow button and then you will be in the know as to what is to come over here at Wani's house. All right, guys, so I'm about to go. But before I do, you know what I always say. The next time you're in town, you can always stop by Wani's house and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.